I guess ngobe ni ngobe. Impurities. Gosh, I have a lot of problems with pronunciation. I'm feeling so fresh, eh? So juicy. Only rock with the best I'm choosing. Guess what we're doing today, guys? Guess what? Um, today we are reviewing some of the stuff that I've liked of late, some of the stuff that I've loved of late. This includes skincare and um, a little bit of makeup because I've not been buying makeup of late, a lot of makeup of late, and also um, hair products. So let's get into it. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Kovia and welcome to my channel. So let's start. Um, so what have I been liking of late? Um, first of all, let's start with skincare because I've really upgraded my game with skincare. Guys, I used to be a Vaseline person. I think I've said this before on my acne story. If you've not watched it, I'll link it down below. Also, um, yeah, what was I saying? I think I digressed. Anyway, so um, I've really upgraded my skincare routine. I now cleanse, tone, moisturize, do masks like once a week and stuff and I'm seeing I'm seeing results even though I went to the dermatologist but I really also upped my game with my skincare. So what am I liking of it? Um, first thing I'm liking is um, the Yves Rocher. My friend tells me it's a French word so let's not say Yves Rocher or Yves Roca and say Yves Rocher. Okay, I don't know if that's right. Um, correct me if I'm wrong on the comment section below. So um, this pack comes as a cleanser, toner, and moisturizer. So for the cleanser, let me just read the let, let me read the claims it has. It's a purifying cleansing gel. And um, first of all, one thing I, I need to say about this brand is that it's very eco-friendly. Um, that they are mineral oil free, um, silicone free and paraben free. All their products um, have this clean. Also, um, for the cleanser, this gel rids skin of excess sebum and eliminates all impurities and traces of makeup. Apply morning and evening on damp face, blah, 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 blah. But yeah, whatever it says is very true. P.S. guys, um, this video is not, um, it's not sponsored so these views are my views and i'm talking out of my experience so um yeah it gets rid of most of my um sebum so my skin is not oily all through the day if i cleanse in the morning my skin won't be oily it will have some sort of glow but it's not oily so i love that about it also it's not harsh it doesn't leave your skin so dry yeah then the micellar water, this was the first time I'm using uh, micellar water, I've heard so much about it. Is it micellar or micellar? I just don't know. I don't know. So we're gonna call it, um, what do I like, how do I like pronouncing it? Uh, micellar. So what does the micellar water do? Let's read the claims. Uh, perfectly tones and purifies skin. So it's a two-in-one. Um, product it's um it's micellar water and also tones the skin it's for it's specifically for combination to oily skin of which i have oily skin and yeah it tones my skin pretty well it helps with tightening my pores like after after you've applied it you feel like your your pores are i use it mainly as a toner and i feel like it tightens my pores so yeah, I can vouch for it though I've not used any other micellar water so I wouldn't know how others feel you get. So my views might be one-sided but yeah, it does what it says. Then the last thing is the is moisturizer. It's a zero blemish gel cream. So it claims to give you give your skin zero blemish. I can't really say much about it because I've not... I've not used it for long to say that it has cleared my blemishes, but it keeps my skin oil free almost the whole day. So I give it that. I give it that, and it's not harsh to your skin. It's super light, 
and I love that about it. So I've been really loving this um, line. It's called the Sebo Vegetal line. So they have this for the combination to oily skin and they also have something for dry and sensitive skin. So yeah, it's a product I vouch for. If you're looking for a cleanser tone and moisturizer, maybe give it a try and tell me what you think. Also, this month they have a 30% of um, they have a discount 30 percent off so probably you could try and let me know what you think then ah uh, something i forgot when i was getting the the the, the cleanser tone and moisturizer i also got the lip balm you all know my tails with the dry lips let's not go there so i got the she butter she even Gosh, I have a lot of problems with pronunciation. So this is um, the She Butter uh, Lip Balm. It's really helpful. It's helpful even an adjective I can use for it. It's, it's, it's very mild. It, has, it smells so heavenly. And it has helped a bit with the dryness, though a remiss is still baked. So. But I like it because of the smell. Let me just be honest with you guys. I like it because of the smell. And if you don't have overly dry lips, I think it would be good for you. But I still find myself alternating this and my remis. So I guess ngobe ni ngobe, you know. Like I don't care about being bashed about using a remis. I just use it. Who's 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 with me with the, on this, guys? Like. I know it's cheap, I know it looks weird sometimes, but I love using a remiss. Okay. So the next thing that I've been loving of late is this perfume. It's gold by Kim Kardashian. I like its masky scent. I'm not one for masky scents though, but I, I found myself loving this. I usually like more citrusy scents and um, I don't know how to explain scents guys, but I love this. I really love it. Um, my friend traveled to the UK and when he came back, he brought me this. So I really like it. What else can I say about it? I just love it. Okay? I love it. Mm. Yes. So the next thing is this um, Kiss Beauty Makeup Fix. Aloe Vera 93.5% with it. Okay, let me stop. So it has vitamin E and aloe vera extract and it claims that it clogs in makeup. So when I bought this, I bought it as a, as a setting spray. And what I wanted with some, was something that would help mattify my makeup because I have really oily skin. But it ended up making me look so dewy. And you know when you have oily skin, it just makes things worse when you have dewy a dewy face oil and you still have oil being produced you know all that mixture just makes you look like some shining ball and people can recognize you from 10 meters away you know so i didn't really like it at first but since i've been using products to reduce my my sebum production or is it that okay yeah i've shown you my skincare routine so it helps with dealing with the oily skin so i can actually use this to give me that dewy look like i just i just do my eyebrows in the morning and apply some coconut oil or the or the Yves Rocher um, moisturizer then i just spray this on and i have that dewy look i look all made up and they come to work so yeah i've been loving this of late it's It also claims to be natural. I don't know. I just don't know that about it, but I love it because it makes my skin look dewy and fresh all day. Yeah. I'm feeling so fresh, eh? So juicy. Only rock with the best. I'm juicy. Okay. Fine. So, um, the next thing I've been liking or loving is the Saru Organics. Um, tea tree and peppermint detangler this is how it looks guys so why do i like this it's because it helped detangle my hair so wash these have become 
so much easier. The one thing I, I hate about natural hair, I love everything else, but one thing I hate is detangling my hair. I just don't like that process. I get so angry, I get so moody, I feel like slapping people when I have to detangle my hair. So this has made that process so easy, it just melts away all my, my tangles and life has been easy people, life has been easy. So I love this so much, I think I should get three more, just in case Saru decides they're not producing it anymore, which I know is not true. But shout out to you Saru, you did a good job with this. I also used it as a leave-in conditioner one time, I know it's not advisable. But I was out of hair products and it did well. It didn't leave any um, any residue. So yeah, I guess you can use it for a lot more than just detangling your hair. And you can also use it as a co-wash. My friend told me she uses this as a co-wash. So I guess you just find multi purposes for one product and you save on your coins. Hmm. Let's see what's remaining. Oh yeah, my Marini. Um, Curling butter, like if you've not used this, I don't know what you're doing with your life. If you're natural and you've not used this, if your hair is natural and you've not used this, I don't know what you're doing with your life because the definition it gives your curls is just out of this world and your hair is moisturized for a long time, like a whole week. You can actually survive without re-moisturizing your hair if your hair doesn't lose so much moisture during the week. When you when you when you have this product on your hair, so man, it's it it actually claims to keep your moisture locked for 72 hours, but I think it does more because I don't I'm not a fan of re-moisturizing my hair during the week, so it does a really really great job when I do my twist outs and my two knots, etc etc. But the definition is out of this world. Shout out to you, Michelle. You did a good job with this product. Also, oh yeah, my Zaron Volumizing Mascara. Um, have you used this product before? Because the first time I was given this mascara, okay, Zaron gave me this mascara, they sent it to me, and the first time I got it and it was blue. Can you guys see? It's blue actually. And it was blue, I was just like, there's no way I'm using this mascara on my eye on my eye um on my what are they called eyelashes but when i tried it it just gives you an extra like you, you just look extra you know and blue looks good on dark skin if i'm not wrong so you just look extra you look mm, there's something about your eyes you know everyone comments on your eyes it's not all out there that you have blue eyelashes but when someone looks skinny they just think there's something you've done with your eyes you know so i really really like it and um i don't know about the volumizing part because i usually use a black mascara first then i i um finish off with this blue mascara so i just love it because of the color i think the color is just so extra it makes you look extra and we're all about that life. We need to look extra sometimes. So, yeah, that's why I've been loving this mascara. Uh huh. So, um, um oh God, I can't get this product. So, um, about some a few months ago, I went to to um, an event where Estee Lauder were, were were doing makeup. Were launching. I think they were launching in Kenya, so they were doing. Um, people's makeup so just went to try out I've never tried out the, the foundation and I've had a lot about the foundation so I went to try it out I was given this tester and when the makeup artist did the did the makeup on my face I felt like uh, I think I look ashy or something because he used the Estee Lauder double wear foundation and I'd heard so much about it, it was like, is this it? Why does it look so ashy on my face? I don't know what was up that day. But I just took the I took the the tester with me. So when I went home after a few after a while, because I was using the MAC foundation, I decided why not just try this foundation? Then guys, I cannot explain 
but what this foundation does to me nothing else does i swear what it does to me i can't explain like it's buildable it seeps into your skin so that it looks so natural you look like yeah there's something you've done to you to your face today but you can't really tell but it looks nice i like that i don't like makeup that's just that is just all out there like yeah you're wearing a mask on your face you know i like things that look more natural so this foundation does it for me and the the shade i was given really matches my skin tone i swear it matches my skin tone in that at first i thought it was darker than my shade but it does match my skin tone what else do i like um it's matte like it, your skin does not get oily throughout the day like it's wearable for more than they say it, you can wait for more than 24 hours but we, we have to shower people you can't wear foundation for 24 hours but if you if you want it to last you like 8 to 10 hours there it will last you so um since my tester is actually over i'll be getting the little foundation in a few in a few weeks because actually i i think it's on the higher side price wise but it's worth it it's really worth it so yeah I'm feeling so tired and I've just review review I just reviewed a few stuff. Well we're done though. We are done. I've reviewed the stuff I've been loving of late. What have you been loving of late? Um as as of um skincare, beauty wise, what are you loving? Um did you enjoy this video? Do you want me to do more such videos? I need you to you guys to comment on the comment section below. And oh make sure you subscribe make sure you subscribe to my channel um like comment share and spread the word bye guys